Alright guys, hello and welcome back to the Sage Shamurai channel. I am so glad you to be speaking with you guys again, even though it's only been two days, but still. Um, sorry I've not been posting as much, again. I'm like, I, you guys might think I'm joking, but I'm serious. Like, I've been trying to post. And, you know, I'm excited to finally be back here because, you know, now I get to freaking do what I want. Now it's the weekend, now I can record videos and stuff. And uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the last part. And, um, you know, today I've been feeling a lot of energy. You know, I've been feeling like, yo, I'm hyped. And, you know, I've not been posting a lot for you guys. So this why, this is why that this time I'm going to be posting a lot and a lot. So that means, okay, so it's hard to explain it. But let's just say that Sage Chairman is going to get his grind back on. Somehow, some way, I'll have to find a way. Probably waking up like 6 o'clock in the morning or something and just recording a video. Yeah, that'll probably work. So I'll be trying to do something like that. But besides that, guys, I hope you guys do enjoy this first video here. And either way, yeah, uh, let's get started. Which, by the way, this is what if Naruto was neglected and Kale was reincarnate, part nine. So yeah, hope you guys do enjoy. All right, guys. Finally, it's time for us to get started with this what if. So. Anyway, let's pick up where we left where we left off. As we start off this what if with Naruto, who had currently now just you know talked his crap to uh, you know Gara, legit like literally with no with no hesitation, they just said that you are trash compared to me, practically, or just giving him that sign. And he also he also gave off the the vibe saying like yo don't mess with me either. So Naruto literally just told Gara that he was a menace to society, and Gara understood that. But Gara's like, nah, homie, I'm like that too. So with that, yeah. As we started with this what if with now now with Nar you know, Naruto, Sasuke, and Anko, as they were now training, as they have already figured out that the tuning exams and what it is, because Kakashi already told them. And they also have just been, you know, just training chilling you know doing everything they can to prepare for the upcoming exam as you know Sasuke would be already tired considering the fact that just because he got stronger does not mean that he's ready for the amount of hell that Naruto is putting him through in fact he would say that it's much worse it's, it's literally worse than the last time as he thought that Naruto already showed him everything that he had but Naruto just showed him his his like first form <laughs> As you know, Sasuke will be going through hell out as he was trying to unlock his man manga kill Sharingan, considering that's what he really needed to keep up. But even then, can he? Mm, uh, actually, yeah, he can. Like it's it's the manga kill. What did you expect? As Naruto would be, you know, he'll be been training with different types of jutsus. As Naruto realized that he had a talent, he had like talents for almost everything. But his talent, the strongest thing that, well, not the strongest, more like the thing that he likes most about it is that he's able to combine two jutsus together to make something very powerful. That's got to be his favorite thing. But he decides, you know, just to forget about that for now. So with that, we're now going to go to Kakashi. As we didn't see Kakashi, as he'll be in front of Minato, as Kakashi's eyes would widen. As me, as Kakashi wouldn't ask Minato, I'm sorry, Lord Forth, but can you can you say that again? As, you know, Minato and Sumarasi then says, Don't worry, Kakashi. No, you don't have to call me Lord Forth. In fact, you're already part of the family. You already took care of my child. With Kakashi just, you know, shaken. As Minato then told Kakashi that he wanted Naruto be he want he wanted him to tell Naruto that to come back to them. And that he wanted Nar he wanted so part he wanted Kakashi to tell Naruto to return back to his family. Like, you know, to tell him that, you know, he, he can now go back to his family, you know, that he does not need to be with him anymore, and that he thanks Kakashi, which, mm, not gonna lie, that's sort of cold-hearted, but at the same time, it's not. Like, he's just asking for a favor. But, to be fair, the favor is like, uh, mm. As Kakashi would, you know, gulp as, you know, the thing is about Kakashi is that he wanted, you know, he, he at first he was gonna do that, alright? He was gonna follow along with the plan. And he was going to build up a bond with Naruto and everything. However, he did not expect the bond with Naruto to be so strong. Solely due to the fact that Naruto is just, you know, he's like a son to him. He's like a true son. He doesn't even need to be about blood. He is like a son to him. As 
Kakashi, who always, you know, he, he follows the Hidden Leaf Village. However, after everything that he lost, like, come on, man. Like, after everything that he lost, you know, he lost Obito, he lost Rin. The, he can't, He barely has time to be with his sensei due to the fact that he's the Hokage. Like, you can't, if you take away Naruto and Anko, I mean, he's still going to have Anko at least. But, like, Naruto, that's, that's still bad. As Kakashi would gulp, as he didn't, as he was about to leave until he would then tell Minato that he's sorry. With Minato asking Kakashi what does he mean. As, Kaka as Kakashi wouldn't explain that, he's sorry that he can't give Naruto back to him. He has connected too much with Naruto. As Kakashi would explain all these things, Mi K Kushina would actually get a tick mark. And she then says, Kakashi, you can't have Naruto. He's mine. My son. All right, his her son. All right, don't I swear don't don't be thinking like that. All right. So as Kakashi would then look down as he then says, I know I have to follow the Lord the I have to follow your orders, but I just can't. As Kakashi then says, as not, not Kakashi, Mitsu then says, Kakashi, this was that was an order from the fourth Hokage. If you do not respond to these orders, we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to send someone else to take care of it. As Kakashi would be looking down as he apologizes, with Minato just sighing, as he then says, It's okay, Kakashi. I'll just send some Ambu. As he then summons some Ambu members, as he tell, as he orders them to go get Naruto. With Kakashi seeing this, as he sees all the Ambu just vanish, as he then thinks about Naruto and Anko, the two children of his, as Kakashi then thinks, oh, I might be the stupidest man alive. As Minato would hear this, he's like, What do you mean, Kakashi? With Kakashi then vanishing, as Minato would be surprised, as he then now knows what Kakashi meant. No, Kakashi, don't do it. As we then see, as Kakashi would be chasing down the Ambus, as it would literally, it, would, it literally will be right before the day of the exams. So Kakashi really just, bro, Kakashi's already starting something. Not, not even Kakashi or me. Okay, I want, I want you guys to type down. Who do y'all think started it first, Kakashi or Minato? Who do you think started it first? As Minato. As Minato would then sighs, he then thinks this is not good. Kushina, um, Kushina, you need to you need to chase after Kakashi. I'll follow you. Due to the fact that they need to stop Kakashi, considering that if Kakashi goes to what he's doing, he might become a sort of a rogue ninja, or he might be worse. He might be sentenced to death if he does what he does. Considering it will be an act of betrayal to the Hidden Leaf Village. As Kakashi plans to stop the arm before they take Naruto away from him. As you didn't see, as Naruto and Anko would be there, as they were cooking something, as Anko would then say, geez, I know Kakashi is late, but at least he could do is show up. With Naruto saying, yeah, come on, man, we made all this food for us. As we then see, as it, as then rain suddenly begins to come out of the skies, as you didn't see, as the Anbu were now li like reaching you know, Naruto and Kakashi and Anko's house, with the Anbu about to strike and you know just go inside the house, you then see as Kakashi would then block 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 their jutsu by countering with his own. As they were gonna use some sort of like water jutsu to like you know not to damage the house completely, just to like cause like a, a lot of damage and to distract them so you can like take Naruto and everything. So like, they were planning to do something like that. As then Kakashi would then look at them as he then says, "Sorry, but I can't allow you to take my son away from me." With that, the Ambu jump back as one of the Ambu then states, "Kakashi, you do realize that this is going to be an this is going to be an act of rebellion against a hidden leaf village. You will be considered a rogue ninja if you go through with this one. Considering the fact that not even a rogue ninja, you'll be considered like an like an outlaw, like someone who's bro who broke the rules. As you know, he'll be considered a criminal. But Kakashi didn't care. He would go along with the risk, as we didn't see as." The four Ambus who were sent there would then fight Kakashi, with Kakashi then using the Kamui, as he has learned he has learned the Kamui after extensive training due to the fact that he was inspired, you know, when he was training with Naruto and everything, he never used it against Naruto, but like he had learned it from from all the times he was like, amped up by the training of Naruto and everything. Well, him and Naruto is training together, okay? As with that, Naruto, like Naruto would then sense it as he was like, wait a minute, that chakra. As he would have sensed that big burst of chakra just vanish, as he then thinks, nah, it's probably nothing. As little did Naruto know that was his father. 
as you don't see as the four Ombu members would then be teleported to a training ground. Not even a training ground, like a large a large area that's similar to a training ground. As it will be no trees in sight or anything. As it will just be an open valley. As the Ombus would then look at Kakashi as Kakashi, he would have completed like two times, which already which already is like um too much to him for him. As he then puts away his Sharingan as he really needs to reserve his chakra due to the fact that his chakra is now 25%. Bauer, he'll still go along for, with it. Um, oh shoot, sorry guys, you heard that. As Naruto and Anko would be confused, Naruto would be sensing, you know, he, since Naruto is sort of like the best one out of sensing between Naruto and Anko, he would then sense only like a small bit of chakra. However, this chakra seems familiar. He's just trying to figure out who is it. I'm gonna call, which by the way, guys, if you guys are watching the video, I'm gonna call this one Gag, the Pokemon. This thing, Gag. Alright, so back to the video. With that, Naruto continued on as he wanted to, as he as he was wondering, what is this chakra? As he didn't see, as Kakashi, who was already fighting the Yambu, would have been sort of holding his own, actually. Even with 25% of the chakra, Kakashi is a Jonin after all. He should be able to deal with it. As Kakashi then sm continued fighting the Anbu, as the Anbus barely were a match for him. However, the Anbus did cause some damage to Kakashi, which Kakashi could, couldn't could really tolerate much. However, he would still go along with it as he continued fighting. As Kakashi continues thinking about Naruto and Anko, and how he's gonna he's not going to let anyone take them away from him. As Kakashi didn't realize it at the time, but he really became such, he became so close to them to the point where he just, without them, it's sort of, it's gonna break his heart. As Kakashi would continue fighting them, they, more Ombus would come in as they, as they all asked for reinforcements. As Kakashi would be fighting them all, he would then, he would then smile under his mask as he then says, it doesn't matter how many of you guys are. I will not allow you to take Naruto or Anko away from me. As Kakashi would be smiling, with that, the Anbu would then all rush at Kakashi, with Kakashi then doing a lightning blade. Uh, even though his chakra is depleting extremely fast, he'll still do it. Because he's really when he like, screw the rules. <laughs> he was like, screw the rules, I have black air forces, and just rushed in there. As Kakashi would be fighting them all. Dang. As Naruto would then stop, as he already knows what this chakra is, due to the fact that at first he was trying to figure out what it was, but then when it pulled out that, when it pulled out that lightning blade, Naruto's like, "Oh my God, don't tell me that guy is." As he then instantly tells Anko, with Anko being surprised as they realize that Kakashi is, is the one who's right now fighting. But why is this chakra getting lower each time? As Naruto then considers the fact that Kakashi is in danger, as he ends up telling Anko to let's go. With that, Anko instantly agrees as they both rush out of the house. As now we go back to Kakashi, as he would have fallen off multiple Anbus, as literally just nothing but a trail of blood around each path that he went. Due to the fact that there was at least up to like, fit, like I'm not gonna say like up to like, I would say Kakashi had taken down like up to at least mm, 150 Anbus, and there were still more to go. Dang, Kakashi got no chill. And as I actually know, not 150, because that's too much. I'm gonna say like 80 Yambus. As Kakashi would be panting due to the fact that now he is now almost completely depleted out of chakra, and, and if he goes any further, well, let's just say death is something that Kakashi will be facing. As Kakashi would then look at himself, as he then thinks, I might be the stupidest guy alive. As he then sighs, as Kakashi then takes one good look at the rest of the Yambus that are there. As no, Kakashi can't even tell their numbers, like how many Anbu are left. As he then thinks this might be it. Sorry, Naruto. Sorry, Anko. As Kakashi closes his eyes, due to the fact that he's he's out of chakra now, he literally just can't move anymore. With that, the Anbu see this as an opportunity, as they all rush at Kakashi. As Kakashi expects it, death awaiting him. Until suddenly, this would all be stopped due to a fireball jutsu coming into the Anbu's faces. As they all get burned to a crisp, as Kakashi will be surprised, as he will then turn around, as then we then see red eyes coming from the bushes, as then the red eyes would then walk out of it, as Kakashi's eyes will widen. Your, but why? 
as you didn't realize, this was, um, this, this was Itachi Uchiha, as well as some other Uchiha members. As Kakashi would be surprised if he didn't ask, what are you guys doing here? With, you know, the, with them just looking at Kakashi, as they ask, we can ask the same thing to you. With Kakashi being surprised, as then multiple other Anbus would then rush, I mean, not Anbus, Multiple other e sh um, Sharingan users will then rush out of the forest, as they will be now as they will make their appearance known in front of the Yambu. as the Yambu will then stay back a little bit. As due to the fact that the, if you guys don't know, the Uchiha clan is a bit intimidating, not even a bit. Like bro, they literally are intimidating. As we didn't see as Itachi then says, you know Kakashi. Uh, sorry guys, I had to like um cut the recording for a little bit due to the fact that my parents came in, so. So back to it, which by the way, uh, for the people who are actually watching the Pokemon thing, I'm gonna call this guy, um, I'm gonna call him Bob, because he's cool. Yeah. So, with that, nor with that, you know, anyway, back to the story. So Itachi would then walk, as he then says, Kakashi, I am loyal to the Hidden Leaf Village. However, if I was in your situation, I expect myself to do the same thing. As if the Hidden Leaf Village decided that they were going to take Sasuke away from him, he would have probably done the same thing as Kakashi, put his life on the line to protect the people that he cared about. As Kakashi hearing these words would have moved him, as we didn't see as a bunch of the Uchiha clan were right there flashing their Sharingan, you know, being intimidating, as this would sort of scare the Anbu, as, K as Itachi would then say, we'll fight to protect you and your family. As then we didn't see as out of the bushes, Two pe no, not two, three people didn't come in, as then Kakashi will be punched in the face. As then Kakashi will be sent flying as he hits a rock, as he then says, Ah, I guess an enemy attack. I guess I am really weak. As Naruto would then say, You idiot. How dare you walk how dare you try to face off an entire squad of Ambu by yourself? As Kakashi realizing who it is would then smile. As he then thinks my kids are crazy. But then, as we then see Anko, Naruto, as well as Sasuke. As Sasuke will be flashing his three Tomoe Sharingan. But Naruto right now, just, his eyes would be glowing. However, you can see a light, sort of like his eyes are like glowing a little bit brighter than it usually is. With Anko there, she has a sort of a, sort of a smile that's about to say, I'm about to mess you up. And she goes smiling towards the Anbu. As Naruto then says, geez, for such a father that talk about the speech saying family and everything, you sure do a lot of stuff without your family. We should we should protect each other, like you said. As Kakashi will be there, as he, would, uh, as he would actually shed a single tear. As Naruto would then get up, as he would then look at the Anbu, as he then says, you know, you've been putting my father through a lot of crap lately, so I think it's only fair I return the favor. As then Naruto would then smile, as then... He would then pull out his kunai as we didn't see as Kakashi and and um Kakashi, Itachi, Anko, Sasuke, and the rest of the Uchiha clan that came to help would all go into a battle formation as Naruto would then finish saying Look looks like it looks like it's finally time for us to show you that I'm not going anywhere. As with that, we didn't see as the Anbu all get into positions as they were now ready to rush in there, as they were gonna take Naruto away. As we then see, as Naruto then says, give me your best shot. As we then see, as all the Anbu and the Uchiha clan, Naruto, Sasuke, and Itachi, wait, yeah, and Kakashi and everyone else rush in there as the battle between them all would continue. Now, as we then see in the Uchiha, um, in the Anbu base, we see as, um, I'm sorry if I said we, we see as, okay? I'm sorry. So, um, hold up, let me, let me get comfortable, I'm right now sitting in a very uncomfortable position. So, we didn't, so we see, um, Donzo, as he is right now enjoying this. Yes, yes, yes! As Donzo's been having a, sort of a bird, sort of like a bird, t like, seeing this whole thing, as he had sort of, like, um, connected, it was some sort of jutsu that he created, a jutsu to spy on others, it's like the crystal ball, but not really. As Donzo would be smiling, this is it, this is perfect, I've been wanting to see this, oh the Uchiha clan, 
as Donzo will be smiling as he then thinks this is the perfect time. Of his Anbu wipe out the Uchiha clan now, he'll be able to have all the Sharingans and he'll become the strongest the strongest person in the village. And he'll be much more of a suitable Hokage than that mean so ever was. As, as Donzo will be smiling, he'll then get up as he then thinks it's about time I should get in there too. But however, I should be, be careful if any of them see me, I might just end up killed. As Donzo would then sort of vanish. As he then cut back to the battle, each one of them fighting. As Naruto would have been sort of taken down already like 10 Anbus already. With Anko who taken down almost not as much as Naruto, but she's been taken down quite a lot. As Naruto then say, you're getting rusty Anko. Are you sure it's not because you're wearing a tutu or something? With Anko saying, that makes no sense you idiot. With Naruto realizing that his comeback was really lame, he then says, shut up. My uncle's laughing. This is what happens when I have a nerdy little brother like you. Do you know what the phrase nerd is? As uncle ignores that comment as she continues fighting. When Naruto thinking, I swear one day I'm going to beat the crap out of her. <sighs> Whatever. She's family. I'll never do that. Which, by the way, you guys should never do that either. Never beat the crap out of a woman. We respect women here. So with that, Naruto, with that, Naruto continue, you know, fighting them off. As Kakashi, who sort of couldn't really fight as hard as them, he would then be, you know, already on the verge of passing out. As he then thinks, dang it, I should have already, I shouldn't have wasted so much of my chakra. The Kamui, you know, because he had to Kamui them to that location. And he, like, sure, it looks like he mastered the Kamui. He, not, he didn't, like, fully master it completely. So he's sort of in a tough position. As then, as then Kakashi, who was about to get jumped by five, like five other Ambu members, would then see it as Naruto would then come there as he will protect Kakashi. As Naruto then says, Kakashi, what's going on? With Kakashi being surprised that Naruto came so fast, he would then explain to Naruto that he doesn't have any chakra left. With that, K Naruto would then give Kakashi some of his own chakra. As Kakashi would be surprised, uh, how? With Naruto then smiling, this is the jutsu I was preparing myself for. As Kakashi didn't realize it at the time, but Naruto was creating a jutsu to the point where he can steal chakra, but also he can give chakra too. As this jutsu, who still didn't have a name, which I'm gonna let you guys comment down below the name if you, uh, that you want for this jutsu. With that, Kakashi will be surprised as he then, as he then feel a bunch of chakra. As Naruto did have to give quite a big, quite a few chunks of his. However, it will be good considering Naruto can just like restore his own. Considering that Naruto is still able to move. As Kakashi would use the, ch the little strength that he had to recharge some of his chakra when Naruto's smiling. Alright, well I'm going to get back in there. Wish me luck. As Naruto would then vanish as he takes down a couple more Anbu. As right as we're now going to go back to the brotherly bond of Kak of you know Sasuke and Itachi. As right now they'd be... They they literally are taking down so many Ambu members that it looks like it looks like they are easy work to them, which they are. As you know, Itachi is surprised. He knew that Sasuke was getting stronger, but the fact that Sasuke was getting so strong to the point where it's almost like he can keep up with him. Well, not only that, but he also has like the three Tamoy Sharingan. Like, bro, you don't mess with someone who has that. You, heck, you're not even supposed to have that at such a young age, and yet here's Sasuke with that. With that, Itachi smiles as he keeps on fighting with his brother. Now, we then see as Mito would then fly, like, you know, he would have been teleporting all around the village as he was trying to find Kakashi in the Anbu. As, this is this is the point where a bunch of the hidden of the hidden sand village, they would have sensed a bunch of chakra going around the place. As it would have felt like a giant, like a, like a small, but like a small war was going on in the hidden leaf village. As one of the as this is where one of the idiots of the sand village then thinks that this might be the signal, this might be a signal to start off. As you know, they think that now would be the perfect time to attack the hidden leaf village. As you know, he would then contact the rest of the hidden sand villages, soldiers and everything, as they doubt that this would now be the perfect time to continue the, to start their attack. They were gonna wait till the tuning exams, but they decided to, to switch the script. As, uh, um, as we didn't see as um a bunch of the sand villages, a bunch of the sand villages, ninjas, and everything would then be summoned. 
as they were now going to get into the battle, as they, as they decide they're going to use the distraction to attack the Hidden Leaf Village. As this is where the attack begins. As Minato, who was flying, riding his way to the area, he would then sense more chakra coming from a different direction. As he then thinks, wait a minute, those are not mine. Those are not my Hanbu. Then who is it? As this is where they would then, as this is where, uh, you know, Minato would then realize, don't tell me. Dang it. He wouldn't. As he didn't realize that, there, that the village is under attack by the hidden sand village. As this is where Minato didn't realize it at the time. But by just saying the words, kidnap Naruto, he sort of started a, a small miniature war. Which is uh, the definition of I fucked up. As what will happen next, guys? Will Kakashi be able to stop the... Uh, will the hidden leaf village be able to survive? Will Naruto finally get a girl? Will... He will not will Sasuke unlock the manga kill Sharingan. Y'all gonna have to find out on the next part of what if Naruto was neglected and Kill was reincarnate. Hope you guys do enjoy. Sorry about the background. I'm trying to find I'm trying to make them be quiet, but they just don't listen. So I'm really sorry, but I hope you guys do enjoy this video. And remember I'm posting more videos today. So yeah. Either way guys, it's Say Sharemark and I'm out. Peace.